Hey, all right, good afternoon. Got another great verse here, and look, if you immediately reject that your physical being, your body is actually the image of the beast that speaks to you through controlling your mind, uh, you're full of conceit. And I'm not saying you're not saved, I'm just saying you're not seeing the spiritual truth of God's word. Look, Satan was the most subtle beast of all the field, all the earth, which we are called a, a, a beast, this physical form. We're, we're the beasts of the field. The field is this land, this flat ground. And if, you, and if you're going to dismiss the truth just from that, look, I'm not saying if you're going to be like everybody else, mocking everybody, oh, you're going to fall off the edge and all this crap. Look, you don't understand. I'm not saying it's not what we've been taught told men mock it we've been quarantined off from the rest of god's creation that's why everything in this quarantine biodome we're trapped in is dying withering and decaying we've been cut off from the source of all life by sin all right um <laughs> in subtle craftiness deceptiveness understand that um it's our own flesh your own worst enemy looks you in the mirror every day Understand that. Understand that. That's why we have to be born again of the Spirit. And Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Not yet. Not of hence. Authority has been given to Satan to rule over it. Look, the disciples and Jesus himself were called outlaws, rebels, rebels. Turning things upside down. Turning the world upside down by the things they were preaching and saying. And look at what the church leaders were teaching back in that day. Look, they rejected him. That's why he told them, you are of your father, the devil, Satan, the serpent, the most cunning beast, deceptive, subtle beast of all the field, the earth. All right, understand this. So this is a short verse, <laughs> and I, I'm no smart. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not the brightest bulb on the tree, but I hear his voice. And, and this verse tells us. You know, he led me right to it. I had no idea. I don't know why. I feel his spirit. He leads me to it, and I see it. I feel his spirit, and I didn't think there was much here, but I'll tell you what, there's, there's more than meets the eye. When you take every single word, I believe he preserved his word perfectly through the pictographic languages it was written in, the spiritual truth and meaning that's contained in it. But you can only be see it when you're led by the spirit. You can only understand and comprehend spiritual things when you are being led by the spirit. Through his word, taught by God himself. I'm no better than anybody else. I stumble every day. All right, here we go. This is 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 2. I'll read it the way we'll see it in our Bibles. Take every word back, led by his spirit, looking at the lexicons and everything that's contained in it, using the strongs. So, here we go. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 2. For ye know what commandments we have gave you by the Lord Jesus. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. All right. Not much, huh? Not much to it. Doesn't doesn't really look like much. But here we go. And it is short. So here we go. 1 Thessalonians 4, 2. For this reason, having no doubt. See, we were made to doubt God. Okay. Having no doubt by seeing and perceiving, understanding the truth, being perfected by Christ through a more continued inspection of his word able to see with the mind through this experience discerning clearly the physical nature of one this object this this man this body of mankind this thing that has taken you captive right uh whom in, who all mankind has joined themselves together with whosoever that has been given this gift of sight is mandated by god to give out a message being joined together with christ as a messenger straight from God himself, showing you the forces and influences that have affected and taken control of your mind that are leading you and guiding you. And he wants you to judge things properly, to judge things properly. He, by, by, by this uh, knowledge that we give out, he, it's done so, so that you also may judge things properly by opening your eyes. Also, giving and bestowing this gift to you for your advantage, furnishing you with what is necessary, his Holy Spirit, 
so that you can understand God's word to lead you out so you can come forth from this sea of the dead you are engulfed in and surrounded by. We're engulfed in it, the sea of many people, and we're surrounded by it. It's our own physical, it's our own physical physicality. It's our own flesh. Okay? That that is keeping out that we've been covered in darkness. It keeps out, blocks the word of God from coming in because it speaks to you all day long, deceiving you, and you're deceived by your own conceit, excessive pride in your own knowledge and understanding of physical things, things you've been taught by men that you refuse to let go of. Okay. Okay, uh, where we are. So, come out of the sea of the dead that you are engulfed and surrounded by so you can return to who you already belong by his commission, by his commission. We are commissioned to do this, and his Holy Spirit told me to look up that word. It means things that are formerly written, authorizing you to perform various acts and duties on behalf of another, on behalf of Christ, committed wholly to him, receiving his same power by his gift of his Holy Spirit to give sight to the blind and hearing to the deaf to raise those who are dead, who are dead spiritually, spiritually, because we're all born into death and condemnation, separated from God. We're not born into life. Only when you receive his Holy Spirit, that gift from God, are you brought from the condition of death back to life. Okay. So as his, we are as his minister yourselves he wants you to become a minister for him by being awakened from your sleep of death that you're in by the gift of his holy spirit to become his minister yourselves for the same purpose of our sovereign prince jesus christ the messiah who is supreme in authority god incarnate the son of god and savior of all mankind leading all men to salvation to be restored to be restored by this covenant while you are in the land of God's enemies, so you may enter the gates, crossing back over into the city of peace. Basically this, allowing you to return home by submitting yourself completely to him, coming into an agreement with his word, the truth. The truth. Men reject it. They reject it. Our bodies are the bait, the snare of the devil. If you want to understand good and evil and become like the Most High God, come into my kingdom. I've been given authority and rule over that I created as God's master builder who was in charge of all the other angels, directing them like a superintendent on a job, right? Elohim, who created the heavens and earth? Elohim. But don't make any mistake about it. God created everything, even Satan, even the angels, everything. Psalms 82, 6 says, you, all of you, all of us are Elohim, gods with a small g. Same word used all through Genesis 1. Understand that. But we have fallen and not, we're all children of the Most High. It says all children of the Most High. But if you reject him, you're a child of your father of this physical world. That's why the Masons worship Lucifer. It, and the people on the outer edges, they don't know. They're deceived. They're lost. They're doing a lot of good things, thinking they're doing a good thing. But at the inner sanctum within, we're, look, we're being take over, taken over and destroyed from within. This was the bait that Satan used to overthrow God's kingdom. I will exalt my throne above the stars, the angels, the angelic beings, the shiny ones, right? Because they're reflecting the glory of God by their connection to him, right? Which we've lost and been covered over in darkness by our flesh, right? Thinking we could become like the Most High, led astray as sheep, led to the slaughter, and yoked together as cattle, oxen, to till the ground by the sweat of our brow, yoked together with this physical form that's a rotten, dying, decaying tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's simple. It's simple. It's so simple, but men refuse to grasp it because of their own conceit, excessive pride, and their own knowledge, and under leaning on their own understanding. You have to be led by the Spirit. You'll never see it unless you are. You, you'll reject it. It's the truth. And I'm not smarter than anybody else, that's for sure. But I hear his voice. I no longer fear death. I'm at complete rest and peace in him because of his Spirit that dwells within me. I understand. I understand. I might not understand everything completely, and I might not give things out properly, you know, and when he tells me something... A truth I might I might not quite see the whole picture you know but 
I know this. Our bodies were the bait, the snare, the trap stick of the devil. He offered us a physical form to indwell. We've made ourselves our own God to judge, be our own judges, our own magistrates. And he, 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 Christ alone is the one who can weigh us on the balance to see if we're found standing on the foundation of truth that's in his word that he came here and revealed to us and showed us the way to go back home. This flesh must be crucified daily. It's so simple. It's so simple, but men reject it. Too prideful in their own physical forms, their own knowledge through the flesh. Satan is the most subtle beast of the field. Crafty, deceptive, speaking to you all day long through your mind, manipulating and controlling you. And then he copies God. The, oh, the third temple. Oh, the image of the beast, the hologram or the television or this or that. You know, we've been mixed together with them. Right? We've been mixed together with them. We're deceived. We're deceived. It's a shame. It's time to wake up. Everything is coming to fruition. Look, this mark of the beast was designed. It's a poison that will slaughter mankind. You might not die right away. Everybody's different. And some people might have received placebos to keep your mind at unrest. You know, not knowing, oh, this person took it, they're fine, or this or that. You know, I... Were deceived. It was designed for the destruction of all mankind so Satan could overthrow God's kingdom. Bringing, drawing the light, bringing the, the light bearer, bringing the light down, that shiny ones, the angelic host of heaven, and ruling over them. I'll exalt my throne, his kingdom, this flesh of the flesh, over them, being covered over in it, in darkness. Chains, DNA, right? 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 It's, it's in our face everywhere. Everywhere, all through the Bible, all through movies, television, there, just everywhere. We've become comfortably numb. Can you tell a green field from prison bars? We're being mocked all day long through everything. Wake up. All right, God bless. Love and respect everybody that draws people to Christ. You know, do the best you can while we're still here. Enjoy those moments we have because there's not many left. <laughs> We're getting to go home, enter into the gates of the city of peace when you're born again of the spirit. Come into an agreement with the truth. You know, and he, he's the perfect judge. I'm not judging nobody. You know, you don't have to believe the same thing. You don't. You, all you have to have is complete faith, trust, and confidence in him and who he is. But it's time to wake up. The truth is being revealed. All right, God bless. Bye.